Well, I've had a bunch of questions about using uh, UV cure resins, um, both the SolarRes and the Alumalite product. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick pro tip on how I've used it, the results I've gotten, kind of like what I can figure to get out of it, and, uh, and how the two different types compare. So first, let me show you what I use. This is a brand new bottle I just got. This is the Aluma UV. This is from Alumalite. Um, I'll put a link in the description. It's a quarter pound. I don't know why they sell it by the pound. This little jar is about 20 bucks plus shipping. I've been using it for about two, two and a half years. So let me describe what it actually is. It's a clear resin that sets up or hardens only uh, in the presence or under the radiation of UV light. So it's a one part resin, not a two part resin, uh, which you can either put it out in the sun or have a ultraviolet light source. When I first got it, I, did, I really wanted to know how much I could get out of it. And I began, if you can see, to put little hash marks, sort of like a prisoner taking off his days. I get about somewhere between 250 and 300 coats out of this model. That's not too bad, but um, take into consideration that this is a, my average lure. It's about two and a half to three inches. Gauge from there. If you do really big lures, then you're going to get a, a little lower yield. So with a yield of about 300 coats, 250 to 300 coats, you're looking at somewhere between seven cents and 10 cents a coat. So it's not horrible. So here are what I consider to be the more important pluses for using the UV clear. Uh, one, it's easy to store. It, this is about two and a half years old and there's still probably about eh, four or five coats left in there and it's still liquid and still brushable. Um, the nice thing is, is that you can dip or brush. Brushing is easy. You use the same brush over and over. Here's the brush I've been using for about two years. Uh, all I do is make a little uh, cover for it, a little envelope for it, and it's just a simple little art brush. And every now and then I'll, I'll take a little bit of acetone and wipe it off with a paper towel. Set time on this is pretty quick when you consider that uh, most other clear coats take at least 24 hours to set hard and probably it's like three days to really get, be able to uh, um, go fishing with lure. So I would consider set time somewhere between 45 minutes and about three hours depending on how big, how heavy, how big the lure is, how heavy a coat you put on it and how strong your, your uh, power source is or how, how much wattage you have in your, in your UV lamp. If you're going to do consecutive coats with UV clear, uh, you can certainly do it. I would recommend you wipe it down with alcohol between the coats. I have gotten fish eyes if I haven't wiped it down. One of the questions I've been asked is, do you have to put it in a turner? You don't, you don't really have to turn it. I prefer to turn it. And the reason I like to turn it is as I'm brushing it on, I'm in training bubbles in it. There's almost no way not to put bubbles in it with a brush. And dipping it is a little better, but you can still get bubbles dipping. So by putting it in a turner and allowing it to turn without the UV light on, that allows for those bubbles to slowly come to the surface and pop just naturally. And it's not setting up as I'm taking one, coating it, and then I'm putting it in the turner. I leave it in there while I'm coating the other ones that are coming right behind it. And by the time I'm done, I'll give them all an extra five minutes. All the bubbles are gone. I don't have to go in there with a blowtorch or anything. So as far as having some kind of contraption to uh, set them up, if you haven't seen my build, you should watch it. I'll put the link right here. But uh, this is a typical inexpensive uh, ladies nail setter, UV nail setter. It's a real simple unit on off and it's got a fuse in the back. But you can also pull this bottom off and then just, if you want to, make a stand for this so that you can have it either underneath your turner and have your turner turning right there or you can have this with a couple of legs and just drop it on top of your turner. It's pretty simple. So let's talk about the, the SolarRes product. Now this I used a long time ago uh, when I was busting up surfboards uh, in, in Central America and not having any other way to fix it. Uh, beauty of this is it sets quick under sunlight. And I, I mean quick. It is a polyester resin and what that means is it stinks it smells it's just has a strong 
chemical smell. I have had this become a little more viscous, a little harder to spread with a brush, just because there's a little bit of indirect sunlight coming in through the window. The Aluma UV tends to be a little more matte in a, in, a, in a room where you've got a lot of humidity, like Florida. So if you're, if you're doing this in your garage and it's not air conditioned, you're likely going to get a sort of a matte finish. In closing, just to let you know, when it sets up, it's hard. You can't, you can't dig your nail in it like you can with a lot of the two-part epoxies. The biggest benefit to using the UV cure is time. It just is fast. And you end up with a finish that's pretty darn durable and looks really good. So hope this helped. Hope it answers some of the questions that I've been seeing. If you haven't subscribed, certainly subscribe. Click that little bell so you don't miss the next video. Catch you on the next one.